Okay, we're told we have a house and an L-shaped flower garden. So, just draw the house plan. And then there's also this L-shaped flower garden that goes around it. Something like that. And these are the measurements here. 20 feet on this side, 6 feet on this side, 6 feet on this side, and 32 feet here on the top. And this here is the house. Just like the top view, it's the square footage. Okay, so they want to know the area of this garden here. And it's kind of a funny shape, so you have to split it up into shapes you can understand. So basically the way we're going to do this is just think of it as two rectangles. So basically here's the initial shape. And this is 32 and 6. So we can cut the uh, cut it into two rectangles here. So we just put a cut in there. And so this side is 20 and 6. So now to get the area, you can uh, multiply the length of this rectangle by the width of this uh, rectangle. So 32 by 6. And that is. 192 sorry 192 and so this one is 192 foot squared now you have to realize here we've already included this 6 so this uh, on this other side of the rectangle is a 6 so if you have 6 on this side but the whole thing is 20 the other side is going to be 14 because 6 plus 14 equals 20 so now we've got this other area which is 14 by 6 so 14 by 6 is equal to 84 so now we've got the 84 square foot in this section here and then we've got the 192 in this section so you can just add them up to get the total so 84 plus 192 uh, let's write that down. Equals 276 square foot. So that's uh, that's the answer. And you could also partition it um, the other way, which would be you can cut it so the so the rectangle going down is the bigger one. So this one has a side of 20 by 6. This side is 6. And now, originally this top section is 32 long, but you've already taken out the 6. So then uh, the remainder is going to be 26. So, you know, 26 plus the 6 is 32. So uh, to get the area, you, to, you multiply this one. So you get 20 by 6. It's going to give you 120. And then you're also going to get 26 by 6 is equal to 156. So now, so those are the two areas. So this one is 20 by 6, and this one is 26 by 6. So, you know, I'm doing it, splitting it into this rectangle and this rectangle. So then if you add the two areas that we found by breaking it up, you're going to get 120 plus 156 equals uh, 276 foot squared. So you can see that no matter how you break it up, you get 276 uh, for the area, which is, of course, you know, it has to make sense because it's going to be the same area no matter how you count it. Okay?